Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, I got another package in the mail here. This is pretty cool. I found this on a popular site that we all kind of hang out at. It's a good place to hang out, to fellowship with fellow people in the coin community. And now and then they have a, you know, wanted to buy, wanted to sell, want to trade type sections. I saw this for sale. And so I jumped on it because I knew it was a great deal. In fact, this deal was really good. Better than the deals that I normally get for my local resource. That's how good it was. And plus, it came with free shipping as well. So I did buy a sight unseen, though. I, I did not have a picture of what I purchased. So I am a little anxious about it to get in and see what it looks like. And uh, again, got it for a good price of free shipping. So it ought to be okay. But why don't we go ahead and take a look. Alright, that probably should not be an invoice in here, so don't really have to worry about that, I don't think. Let me go ahead and Start pulling it out. We've got one package there. Got one package there. Well, wow, nicely packaged up for sure. Another package there. Another package here. We got a little curd here. Oh, got another package there. And before I show you this card. I just want to make sure it's okay. It looks like it is. I'm not going to show you who I got it from, I guess, because they didn't tell me it was okay. But it says, thanks for purchasing. Enjoy. Cool. Well, thank you for selling it to me. So let's see what's in these uh, packages. It looks like this one's labeled Silver Dimes. This one's labeled Silver Quarters. This one's labeled 40% half dollar. This one's labeled another silver dimes. And this one's labeled 90% half dollar. Ooh, man, pretty cool, huh? That is really nice uh, delivery here. I like it a lot. Alright, I'm going to put a bounce of my light off that white one. Let's see if we can... Improve that a little bit, get my cable out of the way. That's not the way I want to put it. Hmm. Usually I have no problem with my setup, but let's put that up there. Alright, so why don't we do what I normally do and let's start with the half dollars and see what we have. Now there's quite an assortment again, I just had the descriptions. There's no indication what kind of condition they were in or anything. Just said that they had some constitutional silver for sale for a good price. So I jumped on it. So this is the 90% halves. He did have those listed out, I think, as two Kennedys, so many Franklins, so many Walkers. But there's a couple Walkers. Another one, all 1943. There's a Kennedy. Uh, camera's not looking very good tonight for some reason. We'll just keep moving on. It's another Walker All 1943. Some more Franklins 51. Another Kennedy. Yeah, these are in good shape. These are pretty pretty standard for the stuff I buy, as you guys know. So 44, 45, 54, and 54. So let's count. We have. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have another five, so that's twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. I believe that's what he said he had was fourteen ninety percent halves. So why don't we just leave? Let's switch the spot here. Let's put these up here. Keep them on the screen. Let me pull my. Make it look a little bit better. Looks a little bit better. All right. 
I'm gonna split these up a little bit better than that. Can make them six and six. All right, so why don't we go ahead and open the 40% halves. I believe you said there was two of these. So let's take a look at that. See what's in there. Yep. 60 and a 67. So far, very impressed with what I've received here. Very nicely packaged too. So let's move the dimes over here and let's see what we have in quarters. I'm trying to remember what he said he had in quarters. I want to say maybe 14 as well. Seems like I remember four, 14 halves and 14 quarters maybe. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that one's nice and shiny. So yep, fourteen quarters. So, so far we've got uh, a good amount of constitutional silver flowing. All right, so 14, 12 halves, 90%, two 40 percenters. I'll leave those there and let's look at these dimes. Not sure why they're packaged twice. But, uh, let's take a look at these ones first. Should be 40. 42, 40 dimes, I think, somewhere around there. There we go. Look, there's a barber right on top. 19, 14, it looks like. All right. Oh, there's another barber. 19, 16. A little chunk out of it. He did say that one or two of them had hole in it, and that's okay. I calculated for that. It's part of the cost but the cost is so great you can see here that's thin it's a barber no it's a seated liberty actually seated liberty it's got uh yeah seated liberty let me get my loop out it's a uh, well in 1840 Woo. man too bad that has a hole in it huh 1840 nice we have a mercury here I'll just put these down. We'll count them here in a minute. It's another Merc that escaped. Alright, so Berbers, Mercs, and Rosies. Alright, so let's get these put down here. Oh, that Mercury's in nice shape. Nineteen forty-four. Alright. So we will see here in a minute. We'll count these, see how many we have. There's another barber, 1911. Cool, I don't have very many barber dimes. I don't have very many barber anything. 1914. Cool. Alright, just strapped one. Another Barber Dime, looks like a 1914, a 1902, a Mercury, I'm going to pull this over a little bit, about like that, that looks a little bit better I think, until I bump it, alright, straighten this out a little bit, alright, so, rosy, 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 another, oh man, Seated Liberty with another a yeah, hole right through the head. 1856. That's so unfortunate. Somebody would do that. Some more Rosies. Some more Mercuries. Another Barber. Wow, got a nice Barber assortment for sure. Alright, so there's that. And I guess before I count them, I'm not really sure why these times are in a different package. But before I count them, let's see what's in here, and then we'll see how many dimes we have. Oh, these are in flips, that's why they're in a different container. Alright. 1951D. 
and a 1962D. Cool. And kind of roughed up a little bit, but still, still dimes. Still appreciate them for sure. Still some awesome 90%. Alright, so maybe we can get the dates in like that. It looks a little bit cooler. Alright. Still don't have this thing in, but I do I. There we go. So let's count. There's three Rosies. And we have that would be seven. Eleven. Fourteen. Three more, that's 17 total rosies. I'm just going to write that down real quick. Then we have four, five. Got to watch the dimes. The dimes can be a little tricky on your eyes. Five, eight, 11. 14, 15, 16. We have 16 Mercuries. Alright, and we have there's 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Barbers. Nice. And then we have the two Seated Liberties. Seated Dimes. Alright. So how's that, eh? So let's total that up. 33, 40, 42 dimes, like I remembered. So a total of 42 dimes here, huh? Pretty cool. So why don't we get out the calculator and do the math, and I'll, you know, some of these are a little bit wore down, but that's okay. We'll still do the regular calculation. So, all right, so let's go over to the desktop view. Let's take a look at what we have here. So we have 12 halves, which is $6. We have 14 quarters, which is $3.50. I'm totaling up the face value here. We have 42 dimes, which is $4.20. All right, so I'm not going to... I guess I can go ahead and, yeah, I, I did the dime, so I'm not going to include the uh, 40 percenters, though. I'll leave those out calculation because they're not 90 percent. So we have $13.70 in face value. If you multiply that by 0 0.715, that'll tell us how much silver is there. 9.8 ounces, so just shy of 10 ounces, 9.8. Okay, so with that calculation, we have to add a little bit more for the two 40 percenters, and I just did the calculation on that. It really gives us about 10.1 total ounces of silver. So that's pretty cool. And if you do the math, get it for well below $15 an ounce. So just a fantastic deal. Just uh, really, really uh, happy to come across this deal. Got me some old barbers, which I don't have in my collection at all. So that's kind of cool. We really love these old Seated Liberties, but boy, the fact that they have holes in them just really is uh, quite a bummer. I mean, they're pretty wore down, too. So, but let me just get out the Red Book and see what a 1840 Seated Dime goes for. This might be a uh, half dime, actually. 1840, no drapery or drapery, not really sure which one it is. Uh, they go for, in the worst condition, uh, $35 to $40. Actually it says between $20 and $45. So I would expect that uh, with the hole in it, it certainly devalues it by quite a bit. I can see this one is what they would refer to as a drapery. It's got that little extra piece of cloth underneath the left arm there. Let me see if I can zoom that in. See the piece of cloth underneath the left arm? 
Boy, they drilled a hole right through the face, man. Somebody wasn't happy. So that's an 1856, right? Should've looked at it when I zoomed into it. Yeah, 1856, so let's take a look at that. I'm sure they're not going to have an 1856 with a hole drilled through the head. Yeah, G4, $18, VG8, it's probably a little better than a G4, 22, 25. So yeah. So there's an 1858 over inverted date. Hmm. Well, this was an 1856. Okay, so anyway, a little bit different than my normal pickup, but still pretty happy to pick up uh, some more constitutional silver. Well below spot. Very, very great deal. Very happy with it. So that's it for now. I really appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that now. And also hit that bell button make sure you get notified. And finally, check out these two videos just popped up. Got some awesome content out there. If you click on it, I think you're really going to enjoy it. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.